We are back at Women Matters and the third part of the reflow guided by Hanneli and Gertraud. And today is August the 10th. And before, I don't know, shall we do a check in? But anyway, I give over to you. You do everything. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Heidi. Well, today is the third part of a trilogy. Um, and today, it organizing for fulfillment <laughs> and um, welcome to this last part and it's from the vision to getting things done and um, you find all the recordings on thewisdomfactory.net in the section women matters and the first title uh, so um, july 13 we did What's my vision for the future? The second was last week, together manifesting our vision. And today it's organizing for fulfillment. So from vision to, to the ground. <laughs> and um, let's check in and share our good news or interesting challenges from recently or during the week that since we last met. And who wants to start is very welcome. Uh, please say your name and where you're calling in from so people know where you're at. Good news or interesting I challenges. I will start. Um, I'm Anneli from South Africa in Johannesburg currently and um, interesting news is spring is about to, be, to here we have our first blossoms so it's new life mm -hmm. even though it's still very cold some days so that's really um, inspiring and I moved my department that I've been in since the lockdown I've moved it around on the weekend and I really feel re-energized and can see different perspectives and open myself to that I'm complete. Thank you. So I can go on because here's exactly the opposite. It's hot. <laughs> 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 really hot. And uh, also, I don't like winter, but when it's so hot, you, you, you would like that it is less warm. But then comes the, that's for me a challenge every year. Autumn is still nice and then winter. Oh overcome winter and then summer and it's hot again and all these continuous circles it's well uh, interesting challenge and I don't know what I should think about that yesterday I did online with, uh, as a Pilates lesson I'm the participant not the teacher and I was the computer was here and I was there on the floor and at a certain moment I hear somebody talking I think do they talk there? Hmm, strange. And then I went to the computer and I noticed that it was somewhere here. And on the computer, there were no tabs open. And then I noticed that my old telephone uh, gave me the played uh, recording I had done when I got my soul matrix explained. And I haven't heard that for three months or more. And it just played it. And then it's, I switched it off, went back, and it played it again. So I took, <laughs> took it to, with me nearby, and it's still, my, also I always punched the button, after five, five minutes, it started again to play. And I thought, what is that? <laughs> Does that mean, Ooh. you know, uh, I don't know, but you are inclined to think that there might be some sense behind it. I didn't certainly ask for it or do anything to get bring it up so really weird <laughs> so i'm complete oh or did i say yeah i'm hiding from in italy and here is 30 something 37 or something and in my house were 29 and i thought it was too warm too so i have air conditioning on also i hate the wind <laughs> i stop here All right, I continue. Uh, it's hot in Vienna too, but in our apartment it's all right around 24 degrees. So sometimes we go outside just to warm up again. 
<laughs> which is ridiculous. But when I take some ice or something out of the refrigerator, I'm so cold. The challenge was that my hand it had to, uh, the ARCO needed, cried for being loaded up. And, and then I saw Heidi's message. We are waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I have so many new books and they're all so fascinating. And I really fell into them. And uh, yeah, I just forgot about everything. And it's, it's about the ego tunnel and about the tunnel of reality and about the tunnel of dreams. And uh, by Thomas Metzinger. And he is an academic, but uh, this is one of the first book he writes for the general public. So I can understand it too. <laughs> but it's quite, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite, and he, I, he had a chapter about lucid dreaming. And since this is what I'm, uh, so I, I really, I, I forgot everything else. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's my chair. I would love you to, to write all your titles uh, to everyone so we can just, okay. maybe we pick okay. one or the other for ourselves. That would be great. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then I have to go to the living room and... No, not yet, not them. yet. You can do okay. it in the, in the it, yeah. email. Okay, or, okay. I, I was just thinking, oh, this is interesting. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, so, it is. It is. I and I, I didn't expect it to be that interesting. Yeah. So otherwise, yeah. I would have never forgotten about you. My <laughs> dear heart. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, and thank I you, I pass Maria. on to whoever feels ready to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> the wake up is, is Victoria's. I think that's me. <laughs> Um, I'm Victoria. I'm sorry I'm so dark. The, the light is very bright behind me um, because it's only eight o'clock in the morning. And um, I am calling from California and I'm very glad to be here. I, my news is that after literally not leaving my house for the last three months or something, I mean, quite literally, a friend of mine even does the grocery shopping. <laughs> um, so I've really stayed home. Um, I went out twice this weekend, this past weekend, to sort of see what the world, outside world was like. And um, Saturday, um, I went, to, I was invited by a colleague to a drive-in concert, um, <laughs> which sounded so intriguing that um, I decided to go and support her. And they allowed a hundred cars. We had to make reservations in advance um, on a very, very dusty sort of paddock um, near the horse racing, um, the horse. Now I forgot English as well as German. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> where the horses race. Um, and it was, uh, it was a chamber music concert. Um, anyway, it was, a, it was a horrible experience <laughs> because Instead of applauding, everybody honked their horns, and it felt more like a football game than a. <laughs> <laughs> and also, in order to get there, we had to drive in a lot of traffic, and um, we had to go by my hometown, where my mother's house is, and the estate is still being disputed. And so, so there was so much stress that um, I was so glad to get home after all of that. I, I thought I will never leave my house again as long as I live. I'm, I'm going to be one of the desert mothers, <laughs> almost in the desert, and um, be a mystic and a hermit. But then um, I had already um, RSVP'd to a, a picnic, a mass, and a, um, a picnic at a, um, a, a beautiful place called Green Winds out in the um, in the middle of the countryside on top of a mountain. And um, it's about an hour from here. And I'd already said that I would attend. It was to say goodbye to a priest um, who's going back to um, New York where he came from. He's a, a, a Jesuit and they've called him back. Anyway, so 
I thought, well, we'll try again and see what that's like. And it was the exact opposite. It was so healing and so beautiful just to be out in nature again and to drive through the mountains and then drive up this windy, windy road and get to the top. And um, the place is called Whispering Winds. It's a retreat um, area. And um, I went there on retreat about three years ago and I hadn't been there since. And it felt like a homecoming and I saw people that I knew. And it was so beautiful. The, all these huge ancient oak trees, um, you know, as they, it, that's why it's called Whispering Winds, the whispering of the leaves and um, the birds. And it was just, if I felt like I had died and gone to heaven, it was so, and so it was an amazing <laughs> experience. <laughs> because, um, because then when I, and then coming home as the sun was setting, it was just really beautiful. And I thought, I thought, what a difference. And I realized that it wasn't about leaving my home and my peaceful environment and where I can control all the parameters it was about nature and mm. um, just being able to be in such and, and even though there were a lot of people there it everybody was in the same spirit of of enjoying the nature and it was just it was really beautiful so um yeah so I'm looking forward to maybe I will become a desert mother and live out in nature all the time. <laughs> I don't know how it's all going to turn out, but it's it was it was an interesting lesson for me to see what what it is that I need um, in my life right now. Mm. Thank you very much. Um, shortly, I had a chilling weekend and. We went out at 7.30 in the morning because during the day I'm, I'm living in Germany, uh, hot as hot can. And so 7.30 is just perfect to go out. And we did a very big, long walk and then sat down on a bench and meditated. And this was really great and out in nature. So I'm pretty relaxed and, and fine. Yeah. So let's see, same procedure. I read the, uh, our agreements and you make a sign <laughs> how we are today with it. So our basic principles, are we willing to give people freedom before anything? No. <laughs> And the micro agreements, are we inviting the possibility of being mind and heart blown in service of integrating our life? Are we feeling free to sink in present moment awareness? Are we aiming for 100% play plus Maximum 69% serious. Allow for spontaneous genius and creation. And the last one is, do we offer our assumptions as open questions? Okay. So I have one more question and then Hanali can take over. It's about our mood. So, very short, just adjectives. <laughs> um, what's my current mood? What's my desired mood? My current mood is amusement and my desired mood is joyfulness. My current mood is curiosity, and my desired mood is understanding. I can chime in because it's the same thing for me. I'm very curious, and I would like to understand what it's all about at the end. <laughs> and my current mood is not worrying about not hearing from somebody 
and my decided mood is definitely not worrying about <laughs> <the theory. laughs> yeah my current mood is a little bit excited a little bit nervous um and my desired mood is relaxed and chilling though <laughs> sweat is all over yeah just being with you present and fine great now as we playfully invite all the supporting energies into our experience here Let's take a moment to take a rejuvenating, expansive, and expressive breath. And using our whole body, like a whole body breath. <laughs> and on the out breath, just release the tension. Let's do that again. As we allow that flow to become part of our experience, let's put our hands on our belly buttons and just take our awareness there for a moment and saying out loud, I am here. I am here. And maybe again, I am here. And let's just notice what that feels like to show up here and to have this experience. Or what does that feel like? Just going into that feeling for a moment and enjoy the feeling. And we can use our bodies and we can extend that experience like stretching like a cat waking up. So we stretch into all directions Very sensual and slow. And from here, let's create a wild, expressive, flowing type wave with our bodies. To create flow in this experience. Whatever shows up. And let's invite our visions and their actualization into this space, into this movement, this wave. And allow the actualization of our visions to begin to move us and not us them. So truly surrendering to the power of our manifestations and actualizations. And bring some joy into it like a Mexican wave. Full of excitement, celebration, and rhythm. And whatever shows up, just enjoy it. And when you're ready, just relax. Our manifestations adore space and freshness to be able to flourish. Sometimes we need to let go of what holds us back and all these outdated and limiting and constricting and conflicting and misaligned and self-sabotaging thoughts and emotions and feelings and behaviors and the likes. So let's take a moment just to sense into all of that combined, whatever it might be that's standing in our way. Maybe it's our, we ourselves standing in our way, but what, whatever it is, let's, just collectively connect to that without the specifics and make a body movement to let it go, to release it. 
and use your voice and sound if you wish to. Just let go of whatever it is that has until now fed the old and kept it in place so that we are not available to the manifestation of our vision. Just let it go. And when you're ready, you can relax and rest and simply be when it's enough. And take a moment of self-honoring, of taking this life-affirming step of releasing and letting go and getting out of our own ways. Just a moment of self-honoring. Self appreciation for that. And from this beautiful space of self honoring, let's go into a space of self recognition of our intrinsic, inherent beauty, power, strength, and ability to build and create stability and foster growth and expand beyond this specific moment to move forward possibilities and expressions of our vision that are as grand and delicious and profound as we can imagine. Thus transforming our vision into reality. So take a moment of self-recognition and celebration in your own way. And from such a beautiful self-honoring and self-recognition space and celebration, our ability to manifest and actualize, we are ready to prepare our physical experience for a miracle where all is possible. So our intention can meet actuality effortlessly. So when you're ready, let's rise to the occasion in a joyous way by breathing in readiness and breathing out willingness. In readiness, out willingness. And relax. In readiness, out willingness. to go the distance, whatever it takes. We are here right now, ready and willing. From this powerful state of being ready and willing, let's connect to the raw potential and potency of our vision by imagining we are a chick ready to hatch out of a shell. Use your sensory and your mental imagination and use body movements of what that could feel like and be like to rise out of a shell, to break all the perceived barriers. Use your body and use your breath and use sound. Rise into this moment of manifestation and feel that potency of new life bursting into being with ease, grace, and joy. Hello world, here I am. Take a moment to connect to yes energy, life fulfilling energy by pulling it to you like this. 
Yes, and use your voice. Yes, fully do you. Yes, you're a magnet for this manifestation and actualization. Yes. Yes, unstoppable, undeniable. <sighs> yes. Draw it to you. And as we draw this yes energy towards ourselves in whatever way feels good in this moment, let's partner with all the collaborative energies in the universe and existence, especially with nature and the elements. And let's draw a yes moment. Let's say yes to life generating energy of the fire element and pull it towards ourselves. Yes. Yes to life giving energy. Yes. Fire energy, which energizes our visions. And now, let's connect to the self-sustaining energies of the earth, rooting our visions in whatever way and pull it towards ourselves with a yes motion. Yes to life-sustaining energies. Yes. Feeling our feet on the ground, rooting it. And now take a moment to connect to life expanding energies of the air element, of the wind, to take our messages and our beautiful manifestations across the ends of the earth, everywhere. Yes, with a yes moment, pull in that life expansive energies. Yes. And let's into ourselves the life-sustaining energy of water, nourishing and creating flow. Yes! And feel the flow. And from here, let's say yes to the all-pervasive energy of allowing our manifestations to come into being. Yes, all allowing, nothing holding us back, no excuses. We don't co-create by ourselves, and manifest by ourselves. We manifest in harmony with nature and existence. And from this space, everything is possible. Now let's take a moment to feel into the reach and impact of our manifestations and actualizations by rubbing together our hands. Feel the heat. Feel the spark that you are creating with your vision. And put your hands anywhere on your body anywhere to connect your body, mind, heart, spirit, and mind so that they can work together in perfect harmony throughout the very powerful actualization process. And just feel it in your body. It's real. It's here. Breathe into it. When you're ready, let's take the spark and extend it outwards to our dream web by rubbing our hands together again to feel our own spark again of ourselves and our creation and to sense our beautiful dream web around us with our hands, feeling the extend and sending the spark outwards into the dream web and beyond and seeing it with our imagination going outwards. Powerful, unstoppable. And sending this yes energy that we just experienced out through the space, through our dream web. Breathe into it.
from this powerful space. We are now ready to begin as we mean to go. And relax. And as we feel into this space of interwoven dreams, ask ourselves, what is the most powerful emergence that we feel right now to fulfill on the dream web? My dream inside the dream web. What is the most, most powerful emergence that we feel right now to fulfill on my dream in the dream web? Let's sense into that. And as we let emerge the most powerful, imagine everything you need for fulfilling on this future is already here. And our senses have access to it to be experienced. It could be for my own part of the vision or dream, also for the collective. Whatever is emergent is welcome and in support of that dream web to be manifested. So imagine everything we need for fulfilling on this future is already here and our senses have access to it to be experienced. From here, let's surrender deeply and dive deeply into the flow and momentum of this powerful actualization process. 
by sensing into what excites us and calls us forth right now. It's more specific. What ideas, insights, thoughts, emotions, belief systems, paradigms, habits, behaviors, responses, connections, surprises, relationships, processes, actions, interactions, resources, or environments are required to fulfill and actualize and make our visions come alive. What comes up for you? What enthuses you? It could be one or more. Just take a moment to sense in to what is really exciting you in this moment. That is calling you for. Staying with it. Stay connected with it. Let's begin to micromanage the universe and to put the universe on call and declare our conviction, our passion, our commitment, and our trust, and our joy by sensing into, for ourselves, what our growth step can be in this moment as part of this very fluid and dynamic actualization process. What growth step is emerging for you that you can take? Relating to what excites and enthuses you. Take a moment to be with that and stay with it. Knowing well that the spark that we have co-created, that everyone is excited and curious and ready to receive it. So there's one more step to take. This growth step, this emergence. Imagine yourself, it already taken. It's already happened. It's already done. It's already fulfilled. can already sense it being fulfilled. Sense into it. What are you feeling right now? What feelings come up? this step already taken. If you want to, you can make notes that, that you really feel it in your body. Where in your body do you feel it? How do you feel it? So, and if you really can feel it, then let your body flow with it. So resonate with that feeling, with 
this step already taken, this growth step already done, fulfilled. What does your body want to do? Find a body posture or a movement that resonates with that. You can stand up or lie down or whatever you want to do. So what is your body wanting to do with it? Your hands, your arms, your feet, your spine, the head, what do they want to do to resonate with it? And then feel from the bottom, <laughs> from wherever, bubbling up a sentence that expresses that new feeling. And if you have found that sentence, it's time maybe to make some notes. And of course, write down your sentence. <laughs> this will come on a big note where you cannot overlook it. And these are those anchors you came back, you can come back to any time. They remind you of your growth step already taken. And it's especially good when you're stuck to remind yourself and, and go back to them. Anyone is an entrance. <laughs> and now I have a question. What is not holding you back from doing? What is not stopping you from fulfilling on your dream? And take a few moments and sense into that. What inspiring thoughts, insights, energizing attitudes, expansive frames of reference, vitalizing emotions, supportive belief systems, Allowing space for diversity, possibility, or empowering behavior that is congruent with the dream. Realic realistic expectations, aligned actions, relevant life nourishing support structures, vibrant and generative environments. Become aware of those and invite them, those energies. You can like really inviting them and breathe and embrace them.
So now it's time for sharing in a playful and curious spirit. <laughs> Please share what came up and especially your sentence. <laughs> and one thing you can be or do to set this dream in motion. And you end your sharing with, today I have decided. And then with an affirming statement, you share word into the world, how to make it real. And who wants to start is very welcome to share your sentence. And whatever you want to share. I can start. Um. I went on in some way with the visualization I had the last times. And um, I noticed the grounding. It was like, you know, like, like this uh, on the floor, in the floor, and coming out again, like, like I already had, like a lily, a uh, kelch, what is a kelch, a kalische. Uh, I don't know what it is in, in, in English. And it came a lot of light out of that. And then water coming down like, you know, like um, water play okay. things, yeah. And then I noticed under this water, but in the dark were figures quite in gray, quiet, not, not you know, not in very moved and not very excited and things, but gray. And then it came that I went along with this one of these lines from the very first picture where they came up from 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 the tent from the roof. Uh, one of these, but they came out of the kelch, out of the light, uh, and went down like this. And I could take the the line and go out there. And I I noticed that I have a younger person, maybe a child, with me and my hand. And then there were other people uh, holding these lines um, and we were looking back in awe. And although I saw only, let's say, a third of the whole sphere, I could see only this, the other was invisible. As a sentence, it came to me, uh, what is from the Bible, it is, it, it is vollbracht, it is done, I don't know what... Uh, what, what it is in English. Um, so although I cannot see it yet on the other side, the two thirds, but I sort of know that it is done. And when you said that the decision today I have decided, ah, by the way, in a certain moment, right at the beginning, I began to sing with all these yeses I sang all the time. And uh, when I said today, I decided to, to go on and hold the line and take them over, give them over to other people or take it, younger people, have them on my hand or whatever, and show them the beauty of the light in there in the middle. And somehow it had also to do with singing and with music. So something like that. <laughs> so far, my vision. I don't know actually what exactly it means, but I have a sort of an idea. And yeah. what have you decided to do? What I have decided to do, to go on on the, on the line, to, to carry the light uh, to the periphery <laughs> in some <laughs> way. <laughs> in whatever way, I don't know exactly, but 
probably continue in some way because it was continuing the 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 picture um it's difficult to talk for me which is unusual uh, because my m main vision was the sea the waves going and i was just one of these waves washing the shore and i didn't have to do anything i just had to let myself be carried and be one with the waves. And the sentence that came was in German, alles ist gut. In English, all is well, as it is. And I decided today to live my vision of 1973 that there is just one spirit in everything and that we are actually one and that I trust this vision with whomever I am meeting whatever is I'm meeting experiencing I'll trust my vision thank you thank you Victoria, you're just <laughs> about to share, I think. Oh, I, <laughs> suddenly I had no, no, um, no image on the screen. I, um, I felt, actually, um, Hannah Lee already started the process really beautifully for me that because I felt a lot of tension inside and kind of holding down like I was in a pressure cooker with a huge amount of tension in my neck and shoulders. And um, I've had this for months and, and thanks to Hanali, <laughs> um, I started to, to re release those, that tension. And then in the process that you started Gertrude, I, um, I suddenly felt like this, almost like giving birth, like this, this huge pressure and tension inside of my body was being released. And as it kind of rose up, I suddenly felt like, um, I guess like a, well, it was like, it was like coming out of an egg <laughs> and <laughs> hatching. And the sentence that came, um, really shocked me completely because the sentence that came was I am invincible and so <laughs> yeah it was I mean I'm not that's not who I am at all I mean that's not the way I think consciously so it really came up out of out of somewhere else I think the feeling maybe what um, Monia said maybe feeling supported by everybody else that we're all one and so um, so I've decided to to live into that, to claim it, to to claim what I have to offer to the world, and to give it in confidence and in invincibility and, and strength. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. I was just constantly in this mo movement motion, my hands on my legs. And just really sensing into the feeling in my body. And what came up for me, the sentence was gliding into joyous, exhilarating expression. And today I've decided to show up as my true full self. Thank you, I'm complete.
Yeah, thank you. For me, there was not much visual, but a very clear sense of um, like a snake that is growing and gets off the old skin. And there is some, you know, the new is born and there's a little bit, <laughs> there's a little uh, insecurity in it, in this new skin. And it's really like my breast is not big enough to hold the heart or to hold this energy. So it's, it really has to. I don't know exactly the, the sentence, but it's very similar to what Heidi said. It's fulfilled. It's, it's done. It's, and I could feel without seeing anything, but I could feel you and many others next to me so in in this we are in it together something like that so it's kind of feeling connected without seeing anybody yeah and and that that felt really like connected and and um uh, and I'm very moved by your sentence from 1973, you said? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's only one spirit. I had a similar thing this morning. Like, there's only one heart. You cannot distinguish <laughs> whose it is or, yeah. Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And let's close with an appreciation round. So what do I acknowledge myself for? And whom I do I uh, appreciate for what quality? Okay, so I go first again. I appreciate in myself that I'm able to, to follow up with these visions, sort of visions. They are also, this is almost indistinguishable, indistinguishable between visions and words. And um, that I trust that it's okay, that's not my, yeah, my mind it is, but not my conscious mind, which is guided by what I want, who is dictating me that I see that, but that it is really what is coming up. Uh, and then I allow it to come up, even if there are words, you know, and not only the pictures. And I see then that they can develop. And I'm happy that I don't have to to doubt all the time as I did a long, a long time in my life that these things, you know, no, probably you do it, you invent it and things like that. Yeah. In a certain sense, we invent it, but not in that sense. So that's what I appreciate of myself that I'm less in my own way, let's say. And um, what I appreciate with you, Haneli, it's always this radiance. And with Gertraud, this presence, this calmness, and you know, we go on and we do that. And that's it's this instilling uh, safety in some way, you know. And then Monia, my old body, 
old in the sense of long time. I'm, I feel so, you know, when she is here in these settings, I always feel at home <laughs> in many ways. And Victoria, I love how you show up and how you are participating. And, and I have the feeling that it has created a connection between us. And that's really beautiful. And that's how you are smiling into the world. That's <laughs> so inviting. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I appreciate that we have done that and that you have done it so beautifully guided through the three sessions. It's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so I continue. I acknowledge myself for being what I am today and what I will be tomorrow and in all eternity. <laughs> and I appreciate each of you so much. I've always forget about my body and Haneli reminds me again and then I can feel all this power in myself coming and flowing and going. Yeah, I have to make more body movements. It's, it's just, I'm too much in my mind most of the time. And I appreciate of Gertraud, her clearness and to phrase what is almost impossible to name. And I appreciate of Victoria, her invincibility. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I appreciate of Heidi most of all that she provides for this space, which is so important. And I have to ask you about uh, how much that costs and, and how much you have to pay each month. So just the basics, uh, because we are now planning to do something similar in Vienna as well for our integral group. And I have no idea what to, what it would be, but Walter will do that. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just beautiful being with you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I. I have difficulty starting with myself. Um, I appreciate the gifts and abilities I've been given. And um, so I feel that I, I want to honor them in the future. I appreciate Heidi's generosity in reaching out to me in the first place and, and including me in all these groups and in, trusting me because she, we don't really, or we didn't really know each other. And um, I was really moved by the fact that she trusted me enough to um, invite me to these groups, not knowing, you know, I could have been a demonic force for all she knew. <laughs> so I really appreciate that. I appreciate um, Hanali's joyfulness and exuberance and um, her colorfulness and images that um, still resonate from last week, the beautiful um, meditation. Uh, Gertraud, I appreciate your, um, yes, your clarity, I love that word, and your sovereignty. Your, maybe that's what I'll look like when I, when I live into my invincibility. <laughs> um, <laughs> And Monia, um, I appreciate your humor. Um, and uh, actually it makes me um, nostalgic for Vienna because it's very, I, I love that. That's one of the things I really love about the Austrian spirit is this, this kind of wry humor. Um, I, it, um, yeah, it gives me a Sehnsucht nach Wien. And I also appreciate the fact that you, um, 
that you're such a voracious reader. I think that's wonderful. And I do hope you share, share your wisdom and your insights about the books you're reading with us. And there's one thing missing for the inconvincible. What do you appreciate or what do you acknowledge in yourself? Oh, didn't I? Oh, I thought. No, was... you skipped that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she said she, she yeah, said her kind of. abilities and her skills. Oh, it didn't sound convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I'll say it again, I'll try to say it again. No, I, I appreciate, yeah, real, it's bigger than that. I appreciate what I've been given and I, I want to give it back to, to the world. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we work on that. <laughs> I appreciate my courage to let go of all things I thought was limiting in myself, which I thought other people would reject, and my creative spirit, and my connection with all that is, and I appreciate you beautiful ladies, each of you so precious. Monia, you, there are no words sometimes, and I've said it before, but your presence, your wisdom, your incredible being here every week is reminding me of something that I would want to be in the future. You are it already. You're just talking about yourself, honey. <laughs> <laughs> when I look at you, I want to also laugh and I want, it's so joyful just to look, just to look at you and to be with you. Thank you. And Heidi, you exude for me um, mischievous, youthful, curious expression, which reminds me of that part of myself. Thank you. <laughs> it does. It's and this beautiful, generous space that you've been creating all these years that you so generously share with all of us. And I agree with Victoria. You have no idea what we are up to and what we would do, me and Gertrude, me and Gertrude, and for allowing us to use this space to expand it in a different way and to share new experiences. So thank you so much for that and for, and for discovering me when you did. <laughs> you. For discovering each other. I really, really appreciate that. Um, the color behind you says it all, magenta. It's so expansive. And Victoria, firstly, you remind me of my own musical spirit and my own, own musical singing side that I, and you Heidi, you were speaking out singing as well, which I've left behind a long time ago. And that your essence is so present here and grounded. And what I appreciate of you is your complete authenticity. Because it's most beautiful. Complete what? Sorry? Your complete authenticity. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. And sharing that with all of us. Thank you. And Gertrude, I need to put me on my feet sometimes. <laughs> As otherwise I'll fly off. But Gertrude, thank you for doing this with me the last three sessions, but for bringing reflow into the space. and for sharing so openly and so honestly when we were preparing for this. And for your courage to be the sovereign being that you are. I 
and for the beauty that you bring. About the, the, the stalks always reminds me of new beginnings and I always are ready to what wants to happen next. So thank you for bringing that into my space too. And for the flow that we co-created so generously and spaciously. Thank you. I'm complete. Thank you so much. Um, I acknowledge myself for, for, yeah, stepping into that because um, being recorded and then out in the world, it's not the easiest part for me participating. It's okay, but, but um, yeah. And um, you make it easy for me, ladies, to, yeah, to be more and more myself. And uh, Monia, it's an honor to be with you because you, each time I really, there is, I can feel that what you said, your vision at that time, it's resonating through. And I didn't know it till you said it today, but but that's that's the wisdom that's beyond age. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. And Heidi, you're it. It's just uh, your um, industrious is not the right word, but you're really staying on on vision, on track, on purpose with your wisdom factory and and that we can be part of it and I'm, I'm really grateful for that yeah. victoria the <laughs> unconvincible <laughs> I, I i i i really i really believe you <laughs> yeah i i think the it's not my problem, it's your problem to believe yourself. <laughs> Everybody believes you here in this room, I think. Yeah, and your authenticity, thank you. Yeah. Um, Honey Lee, I, I could go on and on and on, and this is really, it's been such a treat to work with you and I would love to go on. So one of the things was coming up like Hanalee and I will do a workshop together, a weekend workshop. I didn't share that somehow. I was a little bit <laughs> distracted from facilitating, but uh, that's, that's for sure. That's a very clear thing. Yeah. And, and your, your, floating spirit you're like on the wings of inspiration <laughs> that's yeah so i give to heidi to do the closing words and um thank you for being in this trilogy and let's see what wants to emerge for the next time. Yeah, thank you for, for doing with us the trilogy. And I was thinking right at the end, we have uh, really tried out something new. With this uh, we um, flow practice, but also what we are doing at the end, appreciating ourselves, appreciating the others. We are not, as a culture, we are not used to do that. And we need to, to exercise that. <laughs> That's a good exercise. And we did it together. And I, I didn't feel awkward. And I don't think you did, because we were together. When we are alone, ooh, maybe I, I shouldn't say that about me, blah, 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 blah. But uh, I think with that, we are bringing it out into the world as a need. We need to appreciate ourselves, our invincibility, which is in every one of us here, and also the other ladies who normally participate, and uh, to bring it out into the world. And 
Yeah, thank you, Gerta, for the appreciation of the Wisdom Factory, because I want these uh, conversations to be accessible by people, because I was saying lately, I was talking with somebody, when I uh, grew up and also later in, in adult years, there was no way to, to hear anybody talk in this way or, or what, what I was going through, there was no way of getting information, you know? And you easily think that you are weird and strange and whatever what is happening to you. But when we are talking this way, in this open way, sharing our experiences, sharing what is coming up, I hope we can contribute that people who, are, who go through similar insecurities, that they see that they are normal and that's good to be in this way because there are other people out there and maybe more than you ever have thought that are feeling and thinking uh, in the same way as, as you do, if you happen to listen to that then, <laughs> to the recording. So this is my intention with the Wisdom Factory. I don't reach a whole lot of people, but I think who needs to find it uh, will find it. It's a little bit like my telephone with a with a <laughs> recording <that> showed up <laughs> without me doing anything. So maybe for whom this is important, it will show up in their feed, you know, and then they will listen to one or the other episode, and then they will see and find that. Sometimes I get a feedback and they, somebody uh, writes to me and says, oh, that was right, the thing I needed to, to, to find and listen to in this moment. And that's the only, only reason why I do that publicly. And we can learn to be in public. I mean, we musicians, we do that, but then we play or sing what somebody else has written and we don't really show what is going on in ourselves in that same sense as we do here. We do it more, you know, indirectly through the expression mm. of the music, but not so directly. And uh, we need to, needed to learn that too. And so thank you that you are companions on this journey for ourselves. There is a lot for ourselves too. It's not only for the others, but it's also not only for us. And thank you. And uh, I just wanted to ask Gertrude and Hanedi, uh, what title would you give your trilogy? <laughs> hmm. or your work future workshop or whatever but this trilogy what would be the title creative manifestation okay mm -hmm. isn't that too good to do <laughs> <laughs> creative manifestation yeah we can mm. think about it let's let's think about it and then uh how you felt it and then I, I write it on on top i have already written the post and it's already published as a post but not yet the videos and the videos will be published on in one or two weeks or something with that i close the recording and i invite everybody who wants to do things like that get in touch with Gertrude and Hanneli, and if you don't know how write to me i will connect <laughs> <laughs> You can uh, participate and also if you're interested in participating in a circle like that, let me know. Okay, bye-bye.